Everybody has gone and welcome back to another video and today I'm here to talk to you guys about a special special someone right here my main man Ezio Auditore so I know this guy is a fan favorite you guys know he is even if you guys are mad at it because I know there's a lot of people that are really mad at it that people love him they're like oh he's an old character you guys still love him come on Jacob and Jacob and Evie are great guys they're really they're really they measure up to they don't no no I'm no one measures up to Ezio. You know, feel free to, 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 you know, slaughter me in the comments for liking a really good character. You know, I don't, I don't get the, the, why people hate people that like Ezio. Ezio's good. People like him. You know, people out there like Connor. You can, you know, you can like Connor if you want to like Connor. Um, just live in the knowledge that you're wrong, but you can, you can, you can, you know, you can like Connor. But today I'm going to be telling you guys exactly why I like Ezio, what I like about him, and why he is the perfect, the perfect Assassin's Creed character. So let's jump right into it. So for starters, Ezio is a super relatable character. Wait, hear, hear me out, hear me out. I get, no, just wait, just trust me on this. Ezio starts off, you know, just a normal guy. He has pretty normal problems and he's just thrust into this world that he doesn't take to like many other characters have done. They don't, they like, you know, they take this just upon them. They're like, yeah, I have to do this. They, they take it upon themselves as a responsibility. Whereas Ezio was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't want to be a part of this, I just want to make my family safe. And that is something that I think we can all understand and take from. Sure, Jacob and Eve are relatable with their brother and sister banter, but that's as far as it goes. Whereas Ezio, his entire situation is believable. I know loads of games out there do family dies, main character tries to take revenge, I know that. But the way that it's done with Ezio's story is just the starting point for Ezio. It's not the end of his story is getting revenge it's it's this story that tri it triggers what he does but then it leads to so much more than that and it starts off with Ezio having a completely normal lifestyle and it completely changes and Ezio has to adapt to that and you see he's only 17 and he has to quickly adapt and quickly grow up from what he's been so used to in the past and he he slowly changes and learns more and when he takes on that responsibility you you know that he's really to made this decision to grow up and it's that point where things begin to change more so for Ezio. He goes from this kid that, you know, wants to look out for his family, wants to keep things right, wants to try and do his best, but then he realizes that by trying to do his best, he needs to change the way he acts. And, and he grows up and he learns, he gains all these different abilities and he gains wisdom. And you see at the end of the game of Assassin's Creed 2, when he has this realization that his uncle was right and that, you know, he didn't understand things when he was younger and he's really grown and like from all of his experiences and all that stuff and it's really really important to have that in the character to have that growth and then they manage to develop that growth even more so in Brotherhood and Revelations. The way Ezio grows as a character changes the ongoing narrative so it starts off as his revenge story he wants to go kill the people that killed his family but as he learns more the story develops it changes he wants to help these different factions being the thieves, courtesans, mercenaries he wants to grow the Brotherhood he wants to bring it back to, to, to what it was before because as he learns more about the Brotherhood he realizes his place in the the brotherhood and realizes that it is his heritage it's something that he needs to focus on he he becomes invested in it and wants to help it and it changes from a revenge story to more of a story of Ezio and about the brotherhood and it's so good the way the story adapts to Ezio's character progression and changes in personality as something we don't get from a lot of games these days especially from Assassin's Creed games we have this one set linear path but Ezio's changed depending on what the character learned which is fantastic for the game to do that this isn't to say that there aren't any other good characters in the franchise of course there are like Edward was a fantastic character Altair is amazing and Jacob and Evie were good, and obviously Connor and Arno had their good points. However, Ezio, for me, had all of them. And I'm not saying I want an Ezio clone because that's what we need. We don't need that. Ezio is unique. Ezio is his own character. I don't want another game with a character just like Ezio because I'd immediately hate him for trying to be Ezio. All these other characters that we've had have their unique qualities that make them good, but Ezio, I feel, takes all of the good qualities and puts them into one character because he starts off as one character and comes out the end as another character and he adapts and changes and he has all of these different things added to him that make him what he is at the end. And you see see him as a real person. He gains his experiences, he changes, he adapts, and that is something that makes a good character a good character, is when they feel like a real person because they have a realistic 
personality and adaption to the things that happen around them and that's not that's not what happens with many of the other characters. Altair had that which was fantastic but Ezio took it a step further and for me Ezio's just the, the, the story and progression everything around Ezio worked perfectly in my opinion. And it's not just the character himself that changed it's his goals and motives so obviously it starts off revenge then it continues on to him wanting to help the brotherhood he wants to better himself then he wants to build up the brotherhood in Rome to take down the Templars then what he wants is wisdom to continue what his father started search for that wisdom and really understand why he's been doing what he's doing where the assassins came from he has further thought like he wants to know where this is going what he's doing it for what's gonna happen in the future what happened before him what did the other assassins do and he wants to he wants to make a difference properly rather than just killing Templars and trying to make a difference for now he wants to know what difference this is gonna make for the hundreds of years to come in the future and his connection with Desmond at the end of Assassin's Creed Revelations really really shows his progression from being this naive kid in Assassin's Creed 2 to being this wise master assassin that's really grown and the experiences have molded him into the person he is which is just someone that in even in Assassin's Creed now is a staple in the Assassin's Creed history as one of the most important characters in the franchise because of all of the different things he did to cause Edward to do things, Connor to do things, Arno, Jacob and Evie and even Desmond Miles and it's he's such an important character for everything that's happened in the franchise as well as Altair of course, those Ezio and Altair two of the most important characters characters, but since I'm focused on Ezio in this video, I just want to say, you know, Ezio. One of the most important characters, whether you like him or not, he is one of the most important characters and everything he did is extremely important to the series. And I know not everyone is going to agree with me on what I've said about Ezio, however, this video isn't to change everyone's opinion on Ezio and to be like, this is why I like him, no, you better like him, it's just to share with you guys why I think he's the best character and why he's my favourite character and what I think they got right with him. And honestly, I, like, if you don't like him, then you don't like him, there's nothing I can say to change your mind, it's like how it is with me with Connor, like, I don't like Connor and there's nothing you can say to change my mind either like it's not it's it's as simple as that so you know guys i you know it's whatever like you're always gonna like the characters that you like but these are just the specific reasons why i love Ezio Auditore and i'm sure a lot of you out there do as well but since he is you know everyone's favorite favorite character and i know there's so many people out there like that that hate when people talk about Ezio. They get so mad about it. Like, they get so riled up when someone's like, oh, Ezio's great. It's like, oh, Ezio was years ago. Can you just stop? Can you forget about him already? It's like, no, the reason we don't forget about him is because he was so good and because he was so important. And that's why we still talk about him. That's why we still bring him up because they did such a good job. Why would you want to forget something that was amazing just because it's old that doesn't make any sense that's like saying oh you know mario 64 everyone loves that game but we should forget about it because it's old like it doesn't make sense like yeah sure Ezio's last game was five years ago but that doesn't matter because he's amazing so he's still relevant and we can still talk about it so thank you guys for joining me for this video i hope you did enjoy it let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you like Ezio? don't you like Ezio? what are your reasons for this and please don't just comment fuck you or shut up or something like that because i just I do, uh, people do, I don't understand. But guys, I do hope you enjoyed. Smack that like button if you did, and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed content. Check out the other videos I've done on my channel about Empire, and of course, Watch Dogs 2. Thank you guys so, so much for all the support. Really does mean the world to me. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! No wolves kept me tumbling down, raining fire from above. Great crowds charge over the hills, but the city's had enough. But if we turn and fly, does it almost feel like we will never fall? And if we unite, we can take this fight straight to the castle wall.